Hello and welcome to today's video on the war between ants and termites. Let's start the video. The war between ants and termites is a fascinating phenomenon that occurs in nature. Both ants and termites are social insects and live in highly organized colonies. While they share some similarities, there are significant differences in their behavior, anatomy, and strategies. When these two insect groups come into contact with each other, conflicts can arise, leading to what is often referred to as a war. In this video, we will discuss about ants and termites' behavior in detail. So, if you are new to channel, then subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Anatomy and behavior of ants and termites. Ants. Ants belong to the family Formicidae and are known for their distinctive body structure, including a head, thorax, and abdomen. They have a narrow waist called a petiole and typically have a pair of bent antennae. Ant colonies are highly organized and consist of various castes, including the queen, workers, and soldiers. They communicate using pheromones and exhibit complex social behaviors, such as foraging, nest building, and defense. Termites. Termites, on the other hand, belong to the order Isoptera. They have a similar body structure to ants, with a head, thorax, and abdomen. Termites have straight antennae and a thick waist, differentiating them from ants. Termite colonies are also highly organized and consist of different castes, including the king, queen, workers, soldiers, and elates, reproductive individuals. They communicate through chemical signals and perform tasks, such as building nests, foraging for food, and defending their colonies. Reasons for conflict. Competition for resources. Ants and termites often compete for similar resources, such as food and nesting sites. Both groups are known to scavenge for dead organisms, feed on plant material, and sometimes even prey on each other. This competition can escalate into conflict if resources become scarce or if one group tries to invade the other's territory. Nest invasions. Termites construct complex and extensive nests, often built underground or within wood structures. Some ant species may view these nests as valuable resources and attempt to invade and exploit them. This intrusion can trigger defensive responses from the termite colony, leading to confrontations between the two groups. Chemical warfare. Both ants and termites use chemical signals, or pheromones, to communicate within their colonies. These pheromones play a crucial role in organizing tasks, identifying nestmates, and marking territory. When ants and termites encounter each other, they may release alarm pheromones or attack pheromones to signal danger or aggression. These chemical signals can further escalate the conflict and lead to intense battles. Battle strategies. Swarm attacks. Termites, particularly the soldier caste, have evolved unique defensive mechanisms. They may employ swarm attacks, where soldiers from the termite colony collectively attack invading ants. Soldiers have specialized mandibles or jaws that can tear apart enemies. And they may release toxic substances or use their bodies to block entrances and prevent ant infiltration. Chemical defense. Some termite species possess glands that produce toxic or sticky substances, which they use for defense. When ants attempt to invade a termite nest, these substances can be deployed to trap or repel the invaders. The toxic chemicals can harm or immobilize ants, making them more vulnerable to termite attacks. Ant Cooperative Strategies Ants are highly social insects that rely on teamwork and coordination. In the face of termite aggression, ants may employ collective strategies to overcome the termite defenses. They may surround and overwhelm termite soldiers, utilize their strong jaws, or leverage their numerical advantage to neutralize termite threats. Outcome The outcome of the war between ants and termites can vary depending on several factors, including the species involved, colony sizes, available resources, and environmental conditions. In some cases, 
one group may emerge victorious and successfully invade or take over the other's colony. In other instances, the conflict may lead to a standoff, where neither side gains a clear advantage. It is also possible for the two groups to coexist peacefully if there are enough resources to support both colonies. Overall, the war between ants and termites is a constant battle for survival and dominance in the insect world. These conflicts showcase the remarkable adaptations, strategies, and behaviors that have evolved in response to competition and threats in their ecosystems. I hope so now you will understand about the war between ants and termites. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.